CAP. I came from a school that had a ton of rules. I woke up at 6, even on weekends. I didn't have much spare time because the schedule was terribly inflexible. It felt like purgatory. The hardest thing to accept about my old program is I had no control over my life. For three years, every decision was made for me, and my life was micromanaged, even down to after to having to ask to go to the bathroom. As my first semester of CIP started, I took pleasure in finally having freedom to cook what I wanted. I made meals like my fabulous, fabulous brown sugar chicken, homemade squash soup, and other gourmet meals. Oh boy, I really learned to love my crock pot. <laughs> I am here because I have differences, not disabilities. Sometimes these differences make it difficult to interact with me, but with the support of my parents and staff at CIP, this is changing for the better. My first year, I had some difficulties adjusting to life at CIP, but with all the help and from wonderful staff, it just keeps getting easier. My tutors have helped me pass reading, two English courses, early childhood intro, creativity a child suspected with very good grades. Currently I am taking psychology, special needs, early childhood education, and math. In the next semester I will be taking more courses and hopefully achieving them just as well as I have before. I will have a full-time college schedule, hopefully. You might think I had a lot of help from my tutors, and you're right. But sometimes we all need help. The important thing is, I put a ton of hard work on my own, and what the index is what CIP is all about. They can't do it for you, but they will help you learn to do it independently. I will leave you with a quote from Dr. McMahon, which is so true. The world will not adapt to you. You have to adapt to the world. And thank you, and that is my speech.